everybody, call me Felix, and this video is the first of a series I'm excited to share with you all about a Scandinavian designed summer house turned boutique resort in the province of Batangas on the lakeshore of Taal Lake and Taal Volcano called Nuuk Taal Lake, which evokes a feeling of a European lake resort in the tropics and dab smack by one of the world's most unique volcanic systems. We spent just two nights at Nuke to All Lake, and honestly, this place ranks up there as a five-star hotel experience, as good and as unique as any you will find in the Philippines. Before we get into a tour of our first suite at Nuke to All Lake, let's recap where we were last time on our Tagaytay Thai food trip. A couple of hours before we had our last lunch in Tagaytay, Thai, before heading down to Batangas at one of the prestigious Antonio's group of restaurants establishments called Balay Daco that serves modern Filipino cuisine while preserving tradition and serving big portions. Because we had to save room for our first dinner at Nuuk Taal Lake and sample all the Scandinavian Filipino dishes there, we limited ourselves to just four dishes, kansi, crispy pata, kayos, and a big heaping crispy duck on top of some chicken liver fried rice and a side of pineapple sambal. We had room for dessert and enjoyed some truly excellent puto bumbong to cap off a really good meal and yes, merely really good as we had things to nitpick but it was truly a largely positive experience and Balay Daco comes recommended as a quintessential Tagay Thai food trip stop. If you want to check out our Tagay Thai food trip this far, go ahead and click on the Tagay Thai food trip playlist on the far right hand corner. All throughout that meal at Balay Daco, we clipped that we were in a hurry to check into Nuuk Taal Lake and in fact we were debating about whether we should have gotten dessert. Cousin JP said let's bolt for Nuuk, whereas I being the completest to nail down a thorough review of Balay Daco, had to get some puto bumbo. Part of our hurry was due to the half hour or so of downhill driving to get from Tagay Thai to Batangas, as the quickest road getting there involves a bunch of tight hairpin turns that require great caution to avoid oncoming cars on this narrow strip of road. While Chris was skillfully maneuvering the car for us, we marveled at the mountain roads en route to Batangas, and this trip reminded me of the kinds of mountain roads that I'd see in California, like the way from San Jose to Santa Cruz, for example. If you take the back roads through some pine forests, except on this way to Batangas, we got closer to lakeside level, and as such, we got to see Taal Lake and Taal Volcano loom larger for us. Once down on lakeside level, we took a right turn towards the town of Laurel, where Nuuk Taal Lake is situated. The name Nuuk, of course, comes from the capital of Greenland, and as the name infers, the motif of this hotel is Scandinavian. If it wasn't built as a spectacular melange of European and Asian influences, when you enter the gates of this resort, you'll feel like you're not just in another world, but a collision of different worlds superimposed upon each other. The architecture of this one summer house turned boutique resort feels Scandinavian, continental Western European, and Filipino, as even the bricks that comprise the main building come from, well, to our surprise, they come from Ilocos Norte, the town of Sarat to be exact, so close to home indeed. And then there's the omnipresent view of Taal Lake and Taal Volcano to remind you that you're in one of the most unique places in the Philippines. Nuuk Taal Lake was originally a Danish Filipino family summer home for the first three decades of its lifespan. And the property reflects the feeling of home with inviting furnishings and artwork everywhere. Nuuk was converted into a high-end luxury boutique resort only recently, as in the year 2020. And we all know what happened then. First, Taal uh, Lake Volcano had erupted in January 2020. And while the property was unscathed from the first significant eruption of Taal Volcano in some time, Nuuk was forced to close its doors. Then, of course, the pandemic happened, forcing a longer sustained closure. Little by little, Nuuk Taal Lake was able to reopen and remain something of a best kept secret, a hidden gem few people and travel publications have uncovered thus far. As of this filming, Nuuk features eight suites each uniquely designed with a character of its own, based on the family's favorite memories or destinations. We had the interesting situation of having to stay in two different suites in two nights, both of which are housed in the lake house right next to each other, whereas five of the other suites are in the main building itself. In this video, we're going to show you our first suite and introduce you to the grounds of Nuuk Taal Lake. In the next videos to come, we're going to spotlight our individual meals at Nuuk. One of the best facets of our stay at Nuuk was the personable and customizable 
culinary adventures we had there, as we had all of our meals on site for a really proper secluded getaway by Ta'al Lake. We had such an excellent stay at Nuke that having a prolonged series of videos is the best way we can encapsulate such a memorable visit to Nuke Ta'al Lake. So, without further ado, here's our arrival video at Nuke. Enjoy! Who knows my name? <laughs> and the gates go open. Where's the red carpet? Where's there should be some triumphant music? There's no pop up royalty music to be playing here. There's no. Wow. 9389 7614 1625 set hot. That's the set. Wow. So, uh, so we're here, right? We're here at Nuke. Nuke Lake, sir. Nuke Lake. Nuke Lake, yes, sir. Nuke, N U U K, sir. Okay. And what's your name? Jules, sir. Jules. Jules, yeah. okay. So, Jules, tell us about this. This, this magnificent place. This is a um, for us hotels, sir, this more than one year, and then this, before it's this family house, oh. and then more so than open, oh, years. It's just opened up a year ago. Yes, yeah, a year ago, sir. Wow. Yes. Sir. Okay. And then on and off because of the pandemic, yeah. and also the uh, volcano, sir. Right. So, so the renovation. Uh, how did long did that take? Um, it's uh, it's about four, five to four, uh, four to five years, sir. Wow. Really. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, nice fan. Stay on the vlog. Oh, wait, 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 you just missed Carmela. I missed Carmela. Oh, hi. Nice. So we've arrived at Nook, and Carmela is our host to show us around. Um, this is the? Well, this is the main lobby lounge area. Okay. Uh, this used to be a vacation house before we converted it to a boutique hotel. So if you can see the main uh, portrait, that's a family picture, the main painting. Oh, this one? Yes. So and a, you said, how long has this been open for? Um, well, we opened just before Tal erupted and then pandemic came. So we have to refund it to everyone. And then we had a soap opening again around August last year. Okay. August of 2021. So this is fairly new. Yes. Would you say, okay. right? Awesome. So this is the reason why it's the best kept secret for now. It's the Until uh, jewel, right? It's the jewel of uh, Tagaytay? Ta'a Lake. Ta Lake. Okay, Lake. <laughs> that directly goes out to the... Ta'a Lake. Part of the restaurant and the bar. Oh, this is the bar and restaurant. Okay. Restaurant and the bar. What is the name of the restaurant? Iluli. Iluli. Yes. And then you, um, the restaurant offers... Uh, Mix of Scandinavian, Nordic actually, Nordic and Filipino cuisine. Ooh, Nordic Filipino Nordic. cuisine. Nice. Nice. And then just we go into the Alcesi area and then go with Alcesi. So those are still part of the restaurant. Wow. If you have a seating preference for tonight's dinner, snacks, or breakfast, you'll be out here. <laughs> if it's too humid like today, there's no wind. On Vermont, like Christmas season, it actually have cold breeze. Oh! Wow! So, then where we're staying is actually over here, right? Yes, Lake House. The Lake House. Oh. And then tomorrow will be at the yes. same place, but next door. Oh. <laughs> okay, gotcha. It's just not consecutive. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then this way, going to the pool on the other side of the stairs, there's a viewing deck. You can have your coffee as well there, or mm -hmm. this is the pool area. Yes. Oh, cute. Wow. Mm-hmm. And Carmela, more importantly, what's the bar? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kerbine. What? It's election day. No. Wait, until tonight? Until tonight? Yeah, until tonight. Which is what time is it going to open? Six. We open at eight. 
Oh, the bar? Yeah. Okay, open today. Okay. Yeah, eight in the morning. What? Eight in the morning. In the morning? <laughs> yeah, because tonight uh, is liquor ban. So still. Technically, going to serve. That doesn't apply to hotels. We'll talk off camera. <laughs> 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 and then, um, if you're taking photos, sunrise will be on that side. Oh. You're catching sunrise for the morning. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And do you have um, dinner service in the rooms as well, or? Yes, we do have room service. Room service. Yeah. Okay. And any other amenities about the property that you'd like to mention to us? We have ping pong area next to the covered El Fresco, and then the public restroom in there. Yeah. Um, Where's the ping pong area? That's it. How's this room? Like? Is that a game room, or is it? Just a game room. Um, outdoor badminton is the kids' class. Oh, we do offer kids fishing just in the small pond we oh. have in the beachfront. Okay, what else do you have? So they have fishing for kids? Then fishing for kids. Offer, um, horseback riding just in the beachfront as well. But for now, our horse is actually pregnant. So. Oh, okay. Your horses are pregnant? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the ping pong room? Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. Just set up over mm -hmm. This is the bar, right? This is another area of the bar, but our main bar is the king bar. This is inside the restaurant? Yeah, just this one's with uh, the glasses. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> okay. So, those are any more amenities besides that? The pool and the... Uh, I think I read up on, like, there's a walking area for the... Is there a walking area by the lake? Yes, there is. Okay. The access will be right next to the viewing deck. Oh, okay. Okay. Anything else besides that? Um, I guess that's pretty much it. That's uh, one hectare of the property. The, uh, the property is a total of almost four hectares. Wow, that's However, big. However, only one hectare is developed. Is, oh. This okay. is the main area. The other side is the parking on the right next to the ravine. The other part of the park, four hectares, is on the other side of the road. And are they looking to expand? No into those areas yes. later on. Oh, so okay. we were looking for this area just to be an event place and then the rest. But this is probably your main area, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Wow. And if you need anything from town, what's the closest? Is there a store or? Um, the closest small town is Laurel, but Laurel. it's not a small town. It's not like a city. Okay. So if we ever need to get anything outside of here, what's the closest area or closest? Is there a closest? Um, shopping area store or maybe 7 Eleven or yeah. Alpha Mart. That's the That's only thing okay. that we can find in here. Do you offer spa services or? Yes, we do have. Oh, you do. But it's in the room myself. Uh, awesome. Okay. So off to the room? Yeah. All right. Room tour time. Room tour time. Yay. The first room we are staying in. <laughs> Okay, so do you have names uh, for each room? Yes. Okay. Are they based on how they look or? Uh, we base it on maybe mostly the areas of Scandinavian. Okay, cool. It's based off like the family memories, right? Yeah. Oh, so, that's good. So they made a, made a motif off of it. Scandinavian areas. Names for uh, Iceland. Their favorite. Ooh. Oh, okay. oh, it's like a loft. This is so nice, yeah. Wow, so it looks like you're in another place. Yeah. Another right? It definitely Beautiful. does, like an Icelandic chalet. It's very streamlined, like Scandinavian I design. I love that lock, yeah. Yeah. The little lock area. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, the bathroom is amazing. <laughs> the bathroom. Can you tell us more about this suite, though? Um, mm -hmm. We cater it normally for a group of friends or a group of family. Uh -huh. It can be maximized up to five person, but Ooh. five to six. Five and then six. standard occupancy will be two. Oh, okay. Ah, nice. nice. Beautiful. Mini fridge. Beauty what time does dinner first? start? Or like dinner uh, service? Dinner service starts at six. It ends uh, the last 
order will be at 8.30. So the restaurant oh, closed okay. for 9 uh, for dinner. Okay. But then you can order after snacks. Right. After dinner time, like pizza or burger. Ah, after dinner. Okay, so that's like, yeah. and what time like is that after 9 physically closed? Uh, it's physically closed at 10. Okay, so I mean we can order room service up till 10 o'clock? Yes, it's oh. Okay. <laughs> so that you know, late night man. So the dinner menu will be just for six to nine, and then right after it's maybe all the snacks. Ah, okay. So if you're into snacks, um, I prefer pizza. And I would suggest for you to taste our pizza. It's one of our best activities. Ooh. Only a few of us, a um, few of the guests get to taste it because oh, most of them they have lunch here. So oh. So the pizza is the last two sets with snacks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then she says that if you order lamb, uh, that takes a little bit of time to cook. So mm. uh, just let them know in advance um, what we're going to order. So she's going to send uh, one of our team members to bring us the menu uh -huh. for today's dinner. Okay. And then she says their pizzas are excellent. Uh -huh. They are homemade here mm -hmm. and with the best quality ingredients. So oh. that's a must try. She says not all the guests get to try the pizza. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. This is a really love pizza so much. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, uh huh. All right. All right. Okay. Yay. Does the menu change day to day? Uh, no. Oh. But it's different menu from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. okay. And breakfast is still in the restaurant, right? Yes. Okay. What time mm -hmm. is that? Uh, eight to ten. Eight to ten. So to our window. Eight to oh, ten. eight to ten. Oh, okay. thankfully. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Let's go to loft. Check it out. Yeah. So off. I guess you have to mind your head if you're a little tall. Oh, you don't have to. Okay. Check out the loft. Again, see, they have a lot of vases here. We always have like dark wood and wall uh, applications. This looks like Ben's bed. <laughs> yeah, Ben and Chris. The attic. Woo, what a view from up here. With a lot. Netflix. TV. Simple and classy little yes. nookies. Oh, your desk! So it's kind of hot up here, though. It's a little hot up here. I think there's an air conditioner up here, isn't there? No. Uh, oh, the air conditioning unit is all the way over there. Yeah. I don't think it's a desk of any sort because there's no chair here. Yeah, Kathy writes exposure. Okay. Oh, someone's got to connect to Netflix. <laughs> See if it works. It's another escape door. Let's get all the bags. Big old t TV. Nice coffee table. Something for Chris to lie down on for his bed. Bed for me. Bed for JP. Yay. Yes. Lots of nice little paintings around. This picture of Iceland, I'm sure.
But yeah, it feels very homey, very intimate, very Scandinavian design too. Nice applications of wood. Nice big rug here. Very comfortable looking bed as well. I like the touches with the vases. Very you nice know, touch. I'll just stay in the back. In the attic. <laughs> You'll stay up in the loft, huh? Okay. Wow. Okay, this thing has to work. Netflix. Next up on our Tagai Thai food trip, we're having our first dinner at Nuuk Taal Lake and throughout our stay, we were eager to try Scandinavian cuisine. Considering how rare it is to find Scandinavian cuisine outside of the IKEA cafeteria at MOA, we're having frikadeller or Danish meatballs with Nuuk's special recipe of chicken and beef Danish meatballs. And for you people who need another pizza video from me and cousin JP, well, here you go again. Nuke's staff recommended that we try the pizza. As they explained due to their quirky meal times, many guests at Nuke don't try the pizza. Was the pizza as good as advertised? And if so, was the pizza at Nuke going to dethrone the very best pizza we've tasted in the Philippines? Bella Vita in El Nido? All this and more on the next installment of our Nuke to All Lake series and our Tagai Thai food trip. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. And better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures to come. Until the next time, keep cool, but care, and remember, the empire never ended. <laughs>